what's going on YouTube? This is Bobby from That Geek Dad. And today I wanted to bring you a video that I just haven't seen a lot of. Actually, to be honest, I don't think I've ever seen it all on YouTube. And that's a product and a life cycle video. With tech, you always see the latest and greatest on reviews and when a product just comes out within the first week and then they'll test it for maybe one or two weeks and then that's it. And then you're supposed to get your opinion, well, what was it like having having the item and within the first couple of weeks. So what I decided to do today was to actually make a video on the end of a product life cycle. And in this case, it's going to be the Jaybird X. One of the, I guess, inspirations I got for this video was about a month ago, the new X2s came out from Jaybird. And also the new UE Boom 2 came out. And when you took a look at those and people had reviewed them and you read the packaging, not a lot has actually changed. I mean, they updated the internals so that, you know, you might have gotten 2015 components instead of, say, 2013 or 2014 components. And yes, they added, you know, new colors because the original Jaybird X only came in black and white and recently just before the X2 came out you had camo like a grayish camo um, but so I wanted to talk to you about my experience with the original Jaybirds because with the new ones out there you're gonna probably start to see in stores and even on Amazon where the older ones are going to start coming down in price and if this is something that you've been thinking about getting but don't want to necessarily spend the $180 for a set. Maybe you can find one in the store or on Amazon where maybe it's dropped to $120 or $125. Um, as of this video, I've only found them down to about $140. But who knows? Like I said, as more as more and more time goes on, there'll be less and less stock. And you might be able to pick up the older ones for a lower price. So first I'll just go over my disclaimer. Um, I've used these every day. Workout, listening to music, listening to movies, whether I'm walking, um, driving, obviously being the passenger, <laughs> um, laying in bed, sitting on the couch, working out for about an hour and a half every day for about five, six times a week. Um, I've used these ex extensively. Ex almost exclusively as my go-to headphones for easily the past two years, about a few months after they first came out. And I'm going to say right up front, they have amazing sound. They have amazing sound and, and I'm an audiophile. I love sound. I like the neutral sound. That way if I need to, I'll go into an app or go in and adjust the equalizer myself, depending on how I want to listen to my music. So I love a neutral sound. For fit, for myself, uh, they were great. They were phenomenal. Now I know some people, it it's troubling for them. Uh, but you really have to go through the process of actually finding out which ear wings, um, those are these right here, and which actually ear pieces work best for your ear because everybody has different size ears. Um, they give you, as you can see here, they give you three sets. They give you large, medium, and small for the wings. And they also give you large, medium, and small for the ear tips. Um, and next off is battery life. And battery life for two years has stuck around the eight to eight and a half hour mark. It was usually if I wore them to the gym, um, then I wore them later on in the day to listen to music. And then I warm later on to watch a movie as I fell asleep. Um, I could still go through a whole nother day and sometimes even a halfway through a third day with these and not have to charge them. And when it comes to charging, once they were fully dead, it usually took about, I'd say an hour and a half, hour to hour and a half for it to go completely um, through. Now to compare that to some of the reviews for the X2s, Everybody's saying they're getting eight, eight and a half hours battery life. Um, I haven't found anyone that's willing to talk about how fast it takes to charge them up. 
Uh, Jaybird says it should take you anywhere between 45 minutes to an hour. So maybe that 15 minutes to a half hour difference between the X2s and the older Xs, maybe that's a make or break decision for you. Um, you also get the case. I still have the original case here, which I love. Um, it closes, there's magnetics right here, as you can hear it slam shut. Um, I've tried to beat this uh, over the past two years and it's still in great shape. It's a very hard plastic. Um, it's taking care of my headphones wonderfully. Um, I know from the new X2s, I guess it's not as hard. It's more of a collapsible type case. So I've heard some people really complain about that. Um, I wish from seeing it with my own eyes in stores, I really wish they would have stuck with this case. This case was awesome. And as you can see from the inside, they even give you an elastic right there so that you can slide your headphones in and so they stay in and then you wrap it in this area, shut it and it's done. You also get two of these, they're kind of like a wrap pieces here, let me get in focus. I lost one um, very early on actually because it just, it snapped off, which it wasn't too much of a deal breaker for me. Um, you usually, you grab your headphones and you kind of slide them in there and it gives you a way to be able to have an adjustment to your headphones. I was a little upset when I lost it, obviously because it was within the first couple of weeks. Um, but, you know, I learned to live without them. It was no, I didn't have any problem with it just dangling and sitting in the back of my head. Even when I worked out and ran, when I worked out or ran around or even walked around while listening to my music. I still have the, the earphone pieces. These are the large, these are the small. The mediums are the one I have on currently right now. Um, I still have the large ear in earbuds pieces. I don't have the small, I only have one of the small. I don't have the other one because my right ear actually is small and I had that for a while, um, but it actually tore. Um, but that wasn't too long ago. That was only about, let's see, it's September or so. It was about three months ago when the small one actually tore. So it lasted about a good year and a half and you can buy replacement ones. You can go on Amazon for generics or you can actually go through Jaybird and get the real things. So my left ear was the medium and my right ear was the small, but I was able to make the medium for my right ear work for it and still the comfort, even with three, four, five hours straight, having the headphones on, it was no problem for me. Um, so the size, the size and fit were great. Uh, the sound is remarkable. I mean, these are these are great. They're very neutral. Um, you don't even have to turn up your volume loud. I believe I usually had them on usually about halfway, anywhere between 50% to maybe 60, 65% of my phones. And then also the battery life. The battery life was phenomenal. I mean, you can't ask for anything more considering that the battery is up here in this piece. Oh, no, it's on this piece. I mean, they're, you're fitting a small battery in there. So, but I do have to get new ones now um, because of what happened earlier this week. I'm gonna try to get in close so you can see that it's burnt out right there. And what happened was a couple of days ago, I was charging these overnight, thankfully on my nightstand. And right around 1, 1.30 in the morning, woke up to smell of burning plastic. At first, I thought it was my phone that was charging. Then I thought that, oh great, you know, the battery's overloading in my phone, I gotta go to it. And it wasn't that. And then I went over to my, the light I have on my nightstand. And I thought maybe the plug was burning out, you know, maybe the bulb was going something bad with it, but it wasn't that. So I kept on looking for about 15 minutes and then I realized while sniffing around, and I mean literally just sniffing around, that it were the Jaybirds. They were melting. So, am I upset? I'm more upset, not because of the loss of these, I'm more sad that I don't have these anymore because these were a great pair of headphones that I had for two years. 
but I'm more upset the fact that, you know, I could have burnt the house down. I mean, I have a little girl, I have my wife in the bed next to me, and if I hadn't woken up to that smell, who knows what would have happened. And they were right there on a wooden nightstand that would might have caught on fire after the headphone headphones would have caught on fire. So that kind of came that kind of brought the end of the product cycle life cycle, um, at least for me. And like I said, I'm sad because they were still working. As you can see, none of the wires. Well, let me get into focus there. Have frayed at all. Nothing. Nothing's cracked. Nothing's broken. Over here, it hasn't frayed. Near where you have the volume rocker and the play button and the Bluetooth connectivity button, nothing. Nothing is broken at all out of these. So I'm upset that I lost these because what seems like a battery malfunction, it didn't tell the charger to stop charging. It just kept on taking a juice and overheated and almost caught on fire. But I'm sad because these things had a long way to go. I probably could have kept these for maybe the X3s or the X4s, depending on how, if they did any upgrades, um, other than obviously cosmetic and the internal pieces. I could have kept these for a long time. So with that, I, contact, I did contact customer service with them. They were a little rude about it, I'm not going to lie. Um, I contacted them through Twitter and Facebook and they finally got back to me and they said here's a phone number Please give us a call the gentleman on the line was I don't think thrilled Maybe that I went to social media with it um, But they did say that if I send it back to them so that they can take a look at not only this But also the charging plug that I used and here. I'll show you that real quick As you can see that's also burnt too. If I send in those, they'll take a look at it for me. And the gentleman kept on insisting that as long as they weren't broken maliciously or intentionally. So it sounded to me like he, maybe he was trying to blame me um, for what was going on, that it, may, it was maybe my fault. Um, but he said, as long as I send them to them on my dime, that if it looks like it was a defaulty product for one time, out of warranty that they'll send me a replacement so I thought I'd make this video for you just before I send that off just to kind of go over um, like I said the end product life cycle of this so that you know if you don't feel like you need to have the latest and greatest but you've heard a lot of people talk about these headphones and how great they are that maybe you know maybe towards Christmas time if they still have them in stock somewhere you could pick up these up for 120, 100 bucks. 100 bucks, they're definitely worth it. I mean, I, to be honest with you, for 150, even the newer ones at 179 are worth it. Once you go with these, and if they fit you right, and like I said, you have to go through the steps because each ear is different. So you might have a large in one ear and a medium in the other, and then a small for one ear and a large for another then um, but you have to go through that process and it takes about 30 minutes but once you do that you'll find these are completely worth it and hopefully the ones that you buy will last just as long as I did um, for two years so so with that I want to thank you guys for tuning in and watching this sorry it was a little long but like I said I have had these for two years and I wanted to cover it in depthly how much um, these have meant to me and how much I've used them and how much they were completely worth it for the past two years. So if you can please, if you have any questions, if you'd like to leave a comment down below and if you could uh, subscribe and like this video, it would greatly, greatly help me get more and more videos out there as I continue to try and bring you new product reviews. And if this video becomes popular, I have a few other devices that I've used for quite a long time that are still in great working order and I'll do more of a product and life cycle review. So again, this is Bobby from That Geek Dad, and thank you for watching.